Don't mix the colors, Brawny. I know, Father. Don't oversalt the water, Brawny. I know, Mother. Make sure you're using hot water, Brawny. Yes, I know, Mother. That must be Thespio. We're meeting up with Eliora and Voice of Reason for lunch today. Make sure you stay away from the bad sides of town. You don't need to worry, Mother. I've spent most of my life here. Oh! Don't you talk to me like that, young colt! Yeah, don't talk to your mom like that, boy! That's it, I'm out. Ronnie, dear, take some food for your friends. Mother, I really don't think the restaurant would appreciate- Whoa, 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 wait, 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 wait. Seriously? Score? Ah, oh, dang it, Brawny! Your mom made me drop the spaghetti! Ugh. What are you talking about? This is the best idea I've ever had! That says a lot about your ideas, and none of it is any good. Trust me, Scootaloo. Slingshots weren't a good idea for Wily e. Coyote or Winnie the Pooh, and it's not any better now. Or... Ever. How else could I get there? A Pegasus chariot? A flock of birds? A hot air balloon? Asking Twilight to teleport you? Or maybe asking Dash herself? Cherry Berry's helicopter? Or Pinky's Da Vinci copter? The Wonka Vader? Basically anything else other than this. <laughs> Never mind. <sighs> Nailed it. Oh my god, that actually worked. <laughs> I didn't need those eardrums anyway. What? My little boy. Yay, intro! <laughs> Sorry, that song's just boring now. The pleasure is all mine. Gosh darn it, I deal with this enough at work, I don't need it here too. I think she's successfully gone beyond Sweetie Bell levels of screeching! What? Don't worry, sir! She's not dying! She's just fangasming! Although I'm starting to worry about her being at risk for oxygen deprivation. You might shatter my Princess Celestia commemorative plates! No, not the Celestia plates. The Luna plates, sure, go for it. But not Celestia! I'm her biggest fan! Wow, who knew Scootaloo had such terrible tastes? No pony is a bigger fan than us! No, this is her biggest fan. Curse you and your And that's what you get for dissing Rainbow Dash. I can't believe I'm eating Rainbow Dash's favorite food. I can't believe you actually consider that to be food, period. What are you talking about? That sounds delicious. And your school project is now ruined. GG, Scootaloo. GG. And so rambunctious. It looks like Rainbow never stopped moving, and poor Windy Whistles here hasn't gotten sleep in a week. Also, take a look at this photo. <laughs> no wonder Dash was so offended of the concept of being called an egghead. EVERY STALLION FOR HIMSELF! Wait, what? Gosh darn it! Despio, would you tell your fiancé to quit it with the backing track, please? Uh, that's not her, Brawny. Then what is it? Installed the sound effects myself. <laughs> Ooh. Is it possible to get those doors mass-produced? I definitely know one individual whose life would be much funnier with it. That sacrifice was not necessary! How dare you? She was wearing it when she spoke her first words. And this officially just got creepy. Not to mention unhygienic. And this is from when she first learned to fly. And this was from when she grew her first tooth. That's all cool, I guess. Do you have any trophies of anything substantial? Ah, great. Dash has honor student bumper sticker parents. We're doomed. Okay, at this point, her project is literally crappy. Just like the pony she's writing about. I'm getting the fan again. Oh, come on. At least she's not writing about some pony worse, like Trixie. Good point. It won't save you, though. Hashtag no regrets! <laughs> That's what your faces look like. Actually, I'd like a copy of that picture as well. Make that too. Our daughter's a wonderbolt? Huh. Weird. You would think that between helping to save the world a dozen times and that whole fiasco with her first show, they would have caught something in the newspapers. You modest pony, you! Did she just call Rainbow Dash... modest? Yep. Now comes the part where we throw our heads back and laugh. Ready? Ready! <laughs> well, at least they're excited about this. 
My mother almost had a heart attack when she found out that I wanted to do stunt choreography. Well, either way, just like that, this situation has lost all hope of ending well. I would be mad at you for taking my line if I didn't wholeheartedly agree. Nice to meet you! Okay, hold on. First, there was wing high fives. Then, they used them to plug their ears. And now we have wing shakes? Why do Pegasi get all the cool extra appendages? Despio, you're a unicorn. You could always just make yourself some gossamer wings. Ah. Touché. I'll be right back. Ooh, wait. Do me too. My eyes! Ah, this was a horrible mistake! They don't want to hear about your bad time. Uh, I think the fanfiction community would highly disagree. And that's how Rainbow Dash was made. Oh god, the implications. <laughs> this is almost certainly going to warrant a new nickname. There's a reason I didn't tell them I'm a Wonderbolt! I feel your pain. I don't tell my parents anything for that very reason. Really? I thought you were all about proper communication between loved ones. You're definitely not wrong, and I vouch for that all the time. But to put it simply, I learned my lesson after the sixth time of going through some pony to watch over me every time I wanted to travel somewhere. Oh. Ouch. It all started when she won a spot in the coveted Wonderbolt Academy. Okay, I appreciate Scootaloo bringing Rainbow Dash's parents up to speed. But are you sure she's not a confirmed stalker at this point? She probably just asked Rainbow to tell her these stories. That still doesn't explain how she got those pictures. You know evidence speaks louder than words. But not louder than Rainbow's biggest fan. I'm still right! Let's start this thing! Okay guys, you're kinda starting to overdo it. Come on, Thespio. They're not that bad. Okay, now they're that bad. Can we get them out of here, please? They've become an air traffic and forest fire hazard at this point. Cut the ribbon! Cut the ribbon! Cut the ribbon! Okay, this is seriously uncomfortable to watch now. You hung that towel! Is the security non-existent? Bronny, do I have your permission to literally slap some sense into these nitwits? No need. Just give it about 30 more seconds before all of this boils over. Ah! That's an Academy record. And how do you even compare who is better or worse at hanging up a towel? Just tell them it's embarrassing. You know, if Rainbow deserves any other award, it would be for the best chill the f out tantrum. <laughs> so euphoric. No one can make their parents feel more worthless. Oh, don't you start pulling this on me now, mother. Uh, you okay? How many times do I have to tell you I'm not a stupid cult anymore? Is this starting to hit too close to home for you? Oh no, I'm not letting you pull the Trottingham guilt trip on me again after I very nicely asked you to stop the first 60 times. Hello? I am a man! Ronnie, snap out of it! Thank you. I needed that. I'll find some pony else to do my hero report on. Uh, Scootaloo? You do realize all of this was your fault, right? Or that there's a limit to how much your parents can embarrass you before it becomes a problem? There was a time when I wasn't the best- <gasps> Um, since when was she the best ever? Do I need to get the fan again? Actually, yes! I've grown to like it at this point! In fact, it's become rather fun! So go ahead! Get the fan, Brawny! I dare you! I double dare you, Mini Philly! Pull that fan out one more freaking time! I suddenly don't want to anymore. When I started to win competitions... I'm getting more and more curious as to what the heck happened to Derpy. And it was at precisely this moment when poor old Lightning Dust started to plot her revenge. Name one! Me! Little girl? Where are... Your parents! Also, you may think you want this, but if it actually happens, you'll very quickly understand Rainbow Dash's desire for balance and self-awareness. Their support made me the awesome pony I am! There's other ways to gain confidence, you know. My parents didn't think I could do anything, so I proved them wrong, which took a lot of really hard work, and then I gained the confidence from knowing what I had done myself. While that is admirable of you, I admit, I can actually kinda relate to Dash here. 
It was also my own parents who gave me a lot of confidence. But at the very least, they understood the concept of boundaries. That is pretty awesome. But it also just confirms what I said earlier. Balance. That's a great picture. Rainbow Dash learns the error of her ways. Are you sure that's not this? Or this? May want to take some notes from Fluttershy, Dashy. At least she actually practices what she learns, albeit over time. I'm telling you, I just can't see a thing. Scootaloo, you were just so great at blindfolds. I've heard of blind praise before, but this is ridiculous. Welcome to the... I love my parents and I'm sorry that I took them for granted and I know that they made me who I am today, so I really want to make it up to them. Event. It's a working title! It's kind of embarrassing. Oh, so her parents learn by getting a taste of their own medicine as well. I guess the apple really doesn't fall far from the tree. Or in this case, the rainbow doesn't fall too far from the clouds. I should hope not. That sounds painful. Oh, trust me. Fluttershy would know. There was a moldy sandwich in your report. I'll give you a B. And subtract the cost of decontaminating the classroom. So, more of a B minus? C minus if you count the diaper. This isn't a rock and roll concert! Cheerily must be getting really sick of Rainbow Dash disrupting her class at this point. I don't know. Given how broken today's education system is, it's survival of the fittest, honestly. Hmm. Touché. By the way, that's all fresh food, so you've got about three days to finish it, and I really hope you weren't on a diet. Oh, trust me. If I wasn't, I'd at least have more cushion between my bones when they snap from all this weight! Here, let me get that for you. <sighs> Thanks. So you see what I've been putting up with ever since I've been back? It's been a very quick reminder of why I avoided it for so long. Yeah, I get what you mean, but... Don't you always speak about how avoiding problems never actually solve them? You know, attack them head-on before they get worse? Yeah, I suppose you're right. Plus, it's necessary. I don't have anywhere else to go while I'm up here looking for my old teacher. I just wish the coaching job that I'm doing now paid a little bit better. Well, if you need some extra bits, Novella's up at Starlight's Village. She probably could use your help with following up after her, you know... R-E-F-O-R-M-A-T-I-O-N. I can spell, you know. Alrighty then. Let her know I'm on my way. I'll be there this weekend. If you're going on another trip, make sure you pack extra underwear. We don't normally wear underwear, father. Did I miss something? Where did the furniture go? Never mind that now. You don't want to know. Actually, I kind of do. If you have any comments, critiques, or suggestions, you can send me a message by following Brawny Buck on Tumblr or sending an email to bronydebates at gmail.com. This video was supported by all of my generous supporters on Patreon. Please check out their content links in the description. You can also see how you can join them in supporting my channel and what you would get in return. Have a great day, and I look forward to hearing from all of you soon.